Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Degrain, and today we continue our Let's Play into Crestorio 2, where I, in between episodes, just did a bit of cleaning up in the base. So um, the two things I pretty much did was to remove all of our old wooden power poles and just put down uh, some new medium ones and remove all the lamps. Uh, the blinking was driving me somewhat crazy. So uh, that's the only thing I've done in between episodes. For today's episode, I want to work towards our advanced circuits, uh, since uh, that's what we need to get to our chemical tech cards or blue science. So um, to do that, we have the electronic circuits, we have the copper cable. So the last we need is the electronic components. Glass we have, plastic we have, that means we just mean, need the silicon to uh, get those up and running. Silicon is made right here from quartz and quartz is just made uh, from sand and water. So uh, that's something we'll go set up in just a second. First of all, I have been noticing that these burn inserters can't keep up anymore. So uh, that's a good time to upgrade all of this to, uh, to what's it called? Pretty much just the next tier of inserters. I think that'll be good enough. So if we just take this one, I think that'll be good enough. And say I want from this one to that one. I think we can do it in one go uh, without having to do double upgrades. Let's just see that doesn't turn it into blue. Yep, there we go. Into that, let's just pick up. Oh, robots are picking the things up on the ground. Then we just need a bit of power. Luckily, we can easily hook all of that up. Oh, that did upgrade by an accident. So let's just do this. There's no need to spend resources on blue ones here. Outside, outside. There we are. Now this should be able to keep up, hopefully, with the, the speed. If not, we will have to upgrade into blue, and that can actually be something we'll have to do. Yeah, let's just do it. There we are. Then we don't have to worry about these any ever again. And let's just do the same over here. And take a little upgrade blueprint. Oh, maybe just do this times two with that. Oh, sorry, we can't do that. Take a little blueprint. Say from that one to blue. And please upgrade all of those. There we go. And give them a small amount of power. There we are. So that should be running very smoothly. This will just kind of keep for now. So as I was saying at the start of the episode, let's go down south and set up... Um, or things. Um, we'll need to get glass both ways here. I need glass in this little setup up here. So let's do a little split here. Uh, luckily, that is the power of the main bus. We can just do things like this and jump it. And just add a little buffer in between when we get to the place we want to be. So for example, right here. Uh, let's do that, put it in here, oh sorry, take this, flip it and put it in here. That way we will have um, some buffering of glass. Good. So that's the glass we need for a mall getting flown in. These should start working again. No idea if it's producing enough. If not, we will just kind of expand it. Now let's take it all the way down to the end. And fix the few things we have made wrong here and there. One of those being our green circuits on the wrong line. Come on, glass. And... 
I think around here will be somewhat good. We have the plastic coming out. That means if we do it in this cell, I think that will work uh, out well. So let's fix this mistake. Uh, the reason is that we have water right here and we need that one to go down as well. So we need this one to move over a bit. So firstly, let's get rid of all these trees that's in the way. Thank you. And then we will move it a bit. Let's get a water down so we can see the extent of the problem. So look, right now it's going on this one, on these ones, and that's the problem. And this one is being used, that one's being used, so we'll need to move it all the way out here. For... or green wires. So let's just move that. Luckily, as always, it is one of the easier things to do. That means I want to, it's gonna be right here. Is that correct? If we look at this all the way to the top, this should be the first one. That is not the first. Oh, did I skip one here? Oh yeah, I saved this one for a green wire. So let's do it on the first one instead. There we are. That will be our new green wire. That means all of you can just kind of go away. Get you up this way. And hooking you back in. To um, this one. There we are. I can see our glass production is not gonna keep up with uh, what we need. But uh, that is something we'll look at as soon as we get uh, the rest of this running. Components, that's a glass, glass is flowing. So let's do the setup. And let's do it all the way down here. Oh, let's also just drag the green circus while we're at it. So we have everything we need down here at the bottom. Please come with me. Two around here. I think that'll be good. So that is glass. That is the green circuits as well. We'll need the copper. So let's drag you. Will we need iron as well? Doesn't look like it, but we will need stone. So we'll need this one. And where's the stone one? That is one of the other things we need. Uh, to be honest, we could get robots to do all of this instead of moving it by uh, ourselves. But let's just do it a little while to uh, to show you how it works. There we are. And you can jump this and continue. And this will supply most of the things we need. Should we do it with the robots flying it in from uh, from the main bus? Probably not here since this is a high volume area. So there we are. That's all the things we need for um, a bit of this. So firstly, we will need to make the quartz. That is just filtration one. We should have one on us. Filtration plant takes up a bit of room. You'll make quartz out of sand. That means we need sand in. We need 12 sec sand every 1.2 seconds. So how fast is a crusher? And do we have any on us? Don't. So let's just grab a few. Uh, where is the crusher? 
Where am I blind? There we are. Please give, not 50, just give me a few of you. Might be nice having a few. And yeah, that is fine. That's going to give us um, the crusher we need. Can we do it all in one cell so we don't have to uh, take it out somewhere? That is what I want to do. Oh, we're not making any. So let's just do this. One of the good things of, uh, of doing this is if we take this one, place it here. Say, I want you to make crushes. And where is my crusher? It's right there. I'd like for you to request that. Then I'd like to copy paste, cut you back to a mall. And then we have it set up without needing to um, to go all the way back. And then we'll get delivered as soon as it have the re has the resources, which shouldn't take that long since most of it or all of it is in storage. So while looking at that, what can we do in the meantime? This is what we'll do afterwards, maybe in the cell below here, since I'm kind of figuring out that that will be, uh, be quite needed. That goes directly into a copper patch. Maybe doing it a cell over here instead than having things flow through and go back to the main bus could also be an idea. Uh, 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 let's just check. That needs 12 sand every two seconds. This produces seven, eight every one. So it should be a one to one ratio. I think we can go with that. And then we just need the stone in for both. No, that has an output of stone. So we'll have to recycle some back into the loop. And that is not too hard, to be honest. So what if we get stone in right here? Oh, that's not right. So I have to jump it from... It's getting attacked. This one up. That means we'll have to expand out our wall a bit more. Luckily, that is the easiest thing in the world. Please put up some defense. Did they kill a little sentry? It did. Damn them. But that's how easy it is to set up defense. Ammo will get flown in, delivered out to the correct places, and then we are. Good to go. So we now have some crushes. If we have stone coming in right here, that means we'll need to have a crusher one down. What if we do crushes right here? You'll crush stone. And uh, let's see, that is coal, that does not need that. But there's one thing we'll have to manage. So, there we go, that's fine, and you can go this way, go down, add in a little jump for the coal, and here comes the stone. What we could do, instead of using... Um, Using inserters, we can do something like this. And an easy way to do it is to take a splitter for one going forward. I don't think we can probably do it like this without will that sound side load? Won't. So we will have to do it like this. Then we can make this one go around this way and back down. And we can make this one go in. So there we have a ton of sand being crafted making a ton of noise and now I want to know if we should do it in a line down here so one two or we should do it this way but I think this will be fine so what if we do this 
How many can we fit in? We can actually fit in four. But we want to do this. I think it's going to look quite cool if we do it like this. Having water in and using a double one of these to input into this one. Just do this both and then do this one. Oh, makes so much noise. <laughs> and do this going forward with these on the side. So this should work. Then we just need a water pipe into this one. And then we'll recycle that what's called stone back up on this side. So let's just do this. If we take this, can we then see the same setup over here? Oh, look at that, guys. That is brilliant. We can stop that. You can just go in there. And that is a pretty nice setup for the quartz. Cool. So uh, let's find our water. It shouldn't be that far back. And to be honest, we can just do this. Please get robots to place it down. Then I don't have to go on any walks. We can just jump it down. So there we go. That is the water. Then we'll need the water from out here. Can we jump it all the way? Oh, look at that beauty. And there we are. So that make water going into this one. Um, do we have any small kind of buffer tanks? We have storage tanks. I kind of wish we had something that was a bit smaller. Okay, we only need 12 water every something, so that's nothing. So I'll just leave it. This is working for... Oh, we might have a problem with throughput. But let's see when it's working. This needs... This needs six every something seconds. Let's just check. Um, sand. Unit three a second. That means one belt can support what is called five. And we have... Well, it's almost like I planned it. <laughs> I actually didn't for once. And that is actually beauty so you can go here 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 and here and here for the power that will connect up nicely that means we just need some outputs down here for quartz and stone and uh, just doing these might be the most simple thing to do if we do that for the output that will give us both of them out that's both of them out. That will merge onto a belt going uh, down this way. So we probably have to do it like this and do it one below. Because then we can split off the things we need and uh, loop the rest around. So if all of you go in. Look at that. Oh, yeah, we have something backed up. That might be why. That has some stone mixed in. So that means when you go out this way, I would like to add in, just right here, that our priority for stone, right here, goes to the right. Means we just do this. And goes up this way. Filters back in right here. And of course, we'll send impropriety from. Oh, not you. Impropriety from the right. So that means that it will only take from this line when uh, this one is, um, is empty. So that means we will never have a deadlock here, like right now, because we can start to output the quartz to, uh, to the main bus. And that is a pretty cool setup. Look at that. All the stone getting filtered out will always get put in up here because these will always need stone so look at this they go through and as soon as it starts to work again it will solve itself so now we just need a spot for this on the main bus uh, how much quartz used for? it's used for silicon, matter 
could we just directly throw it into silicon because other two is not really needed and just skip it on the main bus? So what if we make all of production here? They were made in furnaces, weren't they? That just takes six quarts. So that will need some coal in to power this one. And then output the silicon onto a belt at half the speed. So how long a line can you make here? I can't snake it back around here if we wanted to, or we can just grab it from these. I kind of want to snake it around. This one is producing six every two points one second. This one consumes six every six point something seconds. So one of these can supply three of these. Is that the correct ratio? Because that is the case, we can actually skip most of this and just do direct insertion. Six every 2.1, that means 12 every six point something. Because then we can do filter. Oh, we can filter on this one. Oh, that is brilliant. So what if we just do... Okay, guys, let's try this. I don't know if it's a good or bad idea. But you'll filter out stone. That's the only thing you'll output. There we go. That means we can... Pick up this entire bottom line. And do direct insertion instead. Thank God I checked that before... Uh... So now all the stone is coming out. We can probably move it onto the side instead. So let's try this. You will just output all the way to the left. Right here. Because then we can fit in the smelters right next to it. And you will just move... Like this. That's not right, is it? That's not what I want to do. We can just... There's no need to do that, to be honest. We just need to... Uh, to snake it like this. But I need to make room for him. Um, is it just three of these we need? So what if we just use this? So let's see here. One, two... Three. You of course filter quartz, all of you. You'll go into. Let's give it a bit of room so we actually fit it in. Will this work? That'll go directly into this one. Then we just need to figure out how to get rid of the byproduct coming out of the side. Can move this a bit closer. So there and uh, there maybe. Doing one, two, three. Doing one, two, three. And if we are lucky, can we then get this out some easy way? Probably have to move this one to the side then to make room for it, but that is fine. So what if we add you here instead and do that one? I need to get the room I need to jump it. Yeah, so that's... Mm -mm -mm -mm. I want to make it as compact as possible, so I want to 
pretty much what I'm trying to do is get this one out into this, and then it can use the rest to jump. And I can't do that if I move it along the side. We could also just take it all the way out. Or we can just use... Um... You know what? We're gonna... We can sideload it. Isn't that gonna be fine if we sideload it? Because we have these three. Then we just need one out. And that can pretty much just sideload into an underground. So what if we do that as a setup? And you, of course, unload the stone. These are filling these up. Perfect. This will sideload into this one. Getting the stone down this way. And then do a small amount like that. So what if we do this as a setup? That should be able to be lined up all the way down. Four. No, nope, not that. Need you as well. There we are. So line all of that up. Because that will output everything correctly. Filter things into these. And then we just need... What's it called? Fuel in these. And... Uh, let's just get in some coal. We pretty much have it ready. So that means we can have... One input of coal. What needs the most? Probably the other way around. Oh, it's six every something seconds, but we can do long handed coal in and then output on the inside. To be honest, we could just do load us. Like that. And do long handed in. And then we just need to power it all, and we can do that, hopefully, in between. Something like this. Ah, oh, that is good. Guys, I am very, very pleased with this setup. How is this going to look? Oh, look at this, guys. Oh, that is brilliant. Now we just need the coal in, and, uh, and we're good. Isn't this going to work so well? I think it is. Oh, I love when we make something uh, rather cool. So where is a coal? That's way up here. No, it's not. I was somewhat. Please take you down this way. Little robots. To around there. That means we just have to get you in. I like to steal this little part. Line it up. Correctly should be around here. No, nope, there. There it should be fine. Of course, we have this little thing annoying us. We'll just move things around a small amount. And that should be cool. And please go this way. And go in here. And then we have an output of silicon. And that is used for how many things? Only components. And that is used for uh, lots of things. So we might make components at the bottom of this entire factory. Right, just wait a second with this coal. I want to check one thing before we do it. Is that this will produce Six quarts, that's pretty much one quart a second. This will need pretty much one a second. So what if we just... Could we do some direct insertion somehow? So if you do a one to one probably can't because that is made in something that takes up a bit more room. I'm guessing it's made in this. They are, so it's not directly like that. But it is the only thing it's useful. So if we could, we should probably do direct insertion. So that will be 
one, two. Yeah, that won't line up. We'll have to give it some bit a bit more room in between these to uh, do it at a one to one uh, setup. And I kind of want to make it perfect in that way, so we should probably change this up a bit. Can we move it over one? So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. We have. How many spots do we have here? One, two, three. We have a few over here. So we should be able to fit it in because if you get a second spot, will that not be enough? One, two. One, two. Is that going to be enough? Three, six, seven, eight, nine. So we will need two spots in between them. We could also just remove one of these. And uh, give it the room we need. Should I remove one of these? To make it easy to set up and then see if we can fit it in. Let's let's try that for now. Uh, robots, please remove that part. And then we need to shift things over a bit. That is a lot of sand. I'm sorry, robots. And then we need to shift all of this over. Let's just check how many we need. Yeah, we need two spots more for each of them. So we do need two slots in between. And then we can have uh, plastic and glass coming in below. So glass is the only thing we have on the main bus. And plastic, of course. And then silicate is just... Or we could make a completely different cell and just take these three components in. Is that what we're going to do? No, because plastic and glass are used for different things. That's why I want to keep them on the main bus. Yeah, plastic is used for different things. That's useful to have on. Glass is used for different things as well. So that's useful to have on the main bus as well. But um, this one is useful to just have in this cell. That's why I should make some kind of setup that utilizes uh, that to the fullest. Now I'm a bit sad that we had so much uh, junk lying in these. Can I just put it in a chest for now? Two seconds. Please give me all of you. Oh, no, 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 no. You will not put in any more right now. Stop. I want to get this done before I end the episode. Because I really want to see it work. And uh, I just got a very good idea. Please jump all of you in here. Please give me all of you. There we go. Wow, I did craft quite a lot in no time at all. So that is what this is uh, a product of. There we go. And are all these full as well? They are. Let's just grab it. Can't. And that's why, guys, remember not to hook it up going full blast right away. Or else you will be in... Uh, the same kind of trouble that I'm having right now, having to empty these out to redesign the build a bit. There we are. So let's try with four instead. That means we'll just move you over a bit. So let's cut you to the end. And we'll have to remove pretty much all of you and look at some direct insertion instead. This is still fine going into these. But this we need to uh, to move over. So please start by moving you to the end. What if you do it right here? 
That leaves us one room. That's fine. One, two. Then we'll do you. Please move over here. One, two in between. Then we'll cut you as well. With one, two, two. Uh, let's do this and just to see if this lines up now. One, two, three. So that should all connect up. And that means we can start right on the edge here. Pretty much just stamming them down going forward. Yeah, let's let's try this. Uh, it's probably not going to be the perfect ratio, but uh, it's going to be good for what I want to try and... Oh, stop that. Please do one, two. And one, two, we can't fit that in. So this is how we're going to do it. Could probably shift it over a small amount to have it all... Or pretty much having it in the middle. Because I do like to make things look somewhat good. Is this in the middle? It seems like it's right at the power poles at least. So let's try there. Please move it all robots. Shouldn't take you that long. Oh, you're still filled with junk. There we go. Please take all of this back. Because everything's going to get... Oh, why are you... Mats. There we are. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then let's hook this up down here. You can then easily go like this. And you'll of course still go up this way. Later. But then we'll just add in all of these. Being... Oh, sorry. How far back do we need to get him? Because we'll have to have one belt running with the coal and one running with the, the other thing. So that'll still be power. Power. We will need to have. Let's see this. One, two, three. We'll have a long handed. Long handed, long handed. And. Coal, coal, coal. And you will make electronic components like that. So you will have two belts this way, maybe one out, one in. And you'll need almost nothing. We should be able to do half a belt of these to support those. And then one out or do the long handed in. It needs more items in, so we should... No, it needs more items out, so we should do this one as the output. And this one as the input. So that will mean that we'll do... In, in. And... In. I'll keep them here in the middle, maybe. Do all of them in the middle. One, two, three. That's input and outputs will be right here. At the same kind of uh, split. So what about this? This should power from uh, going forward. So the coal will have to move up one. Two here instead. Cut you to there, and cut you to there. That's the coal going in. That will activate these. The silicon will get from up here. The sand will get from here. The stone will go in. Let's take this part and copy it over. That will line up. That will line up. And that will line up. This gets the power from the last one. And that should be our assembly line for this at uh, a somewhat decent ratio. Uh, we have... Can we move any of these? 
Oh, we can remove those to save a bit on. Yeah, look at that, guys. That looks brilliant. So it's time to try and activate it now. Glass, let's get glass and plastic in first before we do it because oh, I am I'm quite excited how this is going to go out, turn out. We all almost have no plastic on uh, the belt, so um, do we have this one? One, two. We'll have the last one out here for. So not you, not you, but you will be our plastic. And where does it line up? I think right here. Seems correct. And there we go. So that should line up for this one. That means you can move you and jump. Oh, guys, this has been a, a rather insane build. I know we're not producing enough plastic to support it, but... Uh, we will in the future when uh, we get the production up and running. That is at least the plan. Then it's all about if this is too much. But I don't think it is. It's never too much. Let's grab you. To all the way out here. There comes the plastic. Here is the glass. That's the two things we need going in. Plastic glass, half a belt of each. Should hopefully supply enough. How many machines do we have? We have 12. And we need one a second in total. So we should be able to support 15 machines. That should be good. And then we get a belt out. Right here. So let's just merge these two onto the same belt. Uh, we could do it just here below. Doing... Right here, and you'll go this way. And then this one can jump out. As simple as this. So, plastic uh, glass. Yeah, so this one will be an output going the opposite way. Okay, guys, let's try and turn this on. Oh, you are misaligned a bit. That looks stupid. There we are. That looks misaligned as well, so you can take you away. And here comes the glass. You'll go in right there. Flip you. Oh wait, not there. Sorry, don't do that. This is an output one. You'll go in on this bottom one. Right there. That's glass going in on one side of this. Gonna get put into this one. Then we have the plastic right over here. I feel like that is a short jump. And I am correct. Go right there. In. That will be our plastic on the opposite side. And then we just need to activate this entire machine. You go in there. Might want to throw some of this into the network again. Because it's only needed here. So give me all of you for the first, first part. Please take this. That should activate fuel for these. Now I'll direct insert to these. That will export uh, silicon. Let's see, hopefully this is running fast enough. Craft speed 1. It's too slow, but that's just because the input is not fast enough.
If not, we'll just add on a fast uh, smelter. Oh, we might not be able to smelt it fast enough. To uh, to keep up. Yeah, it is a bit too. It's just a tiny bit too slow. But I said one to one is uh, fine enough. And then we'll do half near half far. So what if we do one? Every second one. Something like that to, uh, to split it up. And then do a buffer chest uh, somewhere. Let's just do it right here for now. Adding in. You can get a little buffer chest right here. A visible one so we can actually see it. Stacking up to two. There we go, guys. That is a lot of circuits being made. Holy moly. Let's add in the rest of these. And what else do we have in storage we need to empty out? A ton of sand. Even more sand, even more silicate. And this stone we can take and put into these. And this we can just kind of get away. There we go. So, sorry for this rather long episode. Hopefully you did enjoy this little setup. I at least thought it was uh, quite fun to do. And we are making things in bulk. So, one last thing to hook up is, uh, is this one. You are a feedback loop going into this one. And then we have a very, very nice cell here making a... Let's just mark it on the map. Making... Where is it at? Electronic components. And we can just expand this out if we need more. And that is pretty much all we need to feed down to uh, the next cell. We'll make advanced circuits next episode. So can I get rid of the rest of the sand now? There we go. And the rest of the stone get put into these. And then we can pretty much activate the rest of this. And just watch it go. Should work perfectly. At least that is what we have designed it to do. So let's hook it up. So very proud of this. Hopefully I didn't get the ratios wrong, but it will make pretty much everything in here. And that's the only place we need uh, silicon. So uh, I don't really mind this. Yeah. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Do comment what you think about this. That would uh, mean a lot to me because I am quite proud of it. If I must say so myself. Here, take this. So, I'll end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully, you'll give me a like and a subscribe. And then I will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.